Hey guys, this is Brian Hall down at the Wallingford Bike Barn. I just want to thank those of you that are subscribing. I'd ask the rest of you to become our subscribers and uh, check out our other videos. Also, um, we're going to be doing another video about how to remove and install a scooter wheel. Why don't you check that out? It's going to help you a lot in this video. Today we're going to be talking about removing and installing scooter wheel bearings. Alright guys, making sure that you have well performing or new scooter bearings is, is important for a few reasons. One, you can maintain speed. Two, keep your flow going. And three, it's just good peace of mind. Alright, so we're going to be showing you two different methods of installing the bearings today. Um, one is basically a hammer, it's pretty much all you need. And the other is to make your own press using the original hardware, your scooter axle, um, and some various washers. Uh, you could really get away with just using two. We had to use a few just to make it work. Pretty much anything you can find. So here's the scooter wheel. The first thing we need to do is move the spacer. As you can see, the spacer is in the direct center of the wheel, and we need to push that to the side in order to get access to the back of the bearing to push it out. So the way we're going to push that spacer out the side is basically um, a screwdriver. We're going to be using an Allen. Um, I like it a little bit better because it's a blunt object. It's not going to scratch or puncture anything. You're going to take that and just kind of pry against the old bearing to push it out of the way. As you can see here, the spacers no longer in the center and we have access to the back of both bearings. So once you have the spacer out of the way, you're going to want to take a socket, a piece of pipe, something larger than the diameter of your bearing. We're using a 15-16 socket. Place it on the back of the wheel and place it on a flat surface. Once you get that, you'll take your screwdriver, um, blunt object, Allen driver, what have you, stick it in from one side, hold it firmly because it can move around, and tap out the bearing. There's your old bearing. Take the other side, you're going to repeat the last step. Um, flip it over, get it on there. It's going to be a lot easier this time because you have no other bearing in the way. Um, also, another key thing is you're going to want to try and focus on the inside of the bearing or even the very outside, but that's kind of tough on this wheel because it has an inner race. Focus on the very inside of the bearing so you don't damage it. Again, you're going to want to hold it with one hand. Um, it can go kind of crazy on you. Take it. This one's wobble around. And that's it. No more bearings. Alright, so doing the press for some of you guys might just be too much of a hassle. You might not be able to find what you need, and you really might just have a hammer sitting there ready to use. Um, we try not to do it like this in the shop because it's, it's really not the best way, but um, you can take your bearing, place it as centered and as level inside of the wheel as possible, and just tap it in as evenly as you possibly can. Alright guys, so the next step is going to be to insert your spacer. You're going to want to get that seated as right as you possibly can. It'll move around once it's in there. Um, and repeat the last step. Take your bearing. Get it in there as, as level as you can. The first tap is honestly probably the most important. Um, And that is a fresh set of bearings installed.